Happy Thursday. Almost the weekend. I kind of count Thursday night as the start of the weekend, actually. So we're going to kind of consider it the start of the weekend, even though we've got one more work day. So here's what we're going to open tonight. Some Panini Origins football. That's a one-box break. Some Panini Honors football. That's a one-box break. A half case of Panini 2011 Prime Signatures. It's the back half of a case that we started the other night. All three of those are pretty quick breaks, and when those finish up, we will open a full case of 2017 Bowman Chrome Baseball. So that's kind of the order we're going to go in tonight. Origins, Honors, Prime Signatures, Bowman Chrome. So if you are here for the baseball, you've got, uh, I don't know, a few minutes, uh, probably 10 minutes or so before... We will start on baseball, and then, of course, it takes forever to get it all out of the box and out of the case and all that. So, a little ways to go, anyway. First up, one box of 2017 Panini Origins football. This is break number nine, the ninth time we've opened the product. Not always in this quantity, but uh, there's just some odds and ends boxes left over to work through. Our eBay end date was tonight, of course, 10:19. Our live stream schedule also Thursday, 10:19 at 10:15 Eastern, which is uh, now. Team names are on the left, winning bidders across from it on the right. You will see a few things there that are designated as no bids buyback, and if anything comes out for one of those teams, of course, it'll hang out here with me, join its brothers on Card Mountain. Otherwise, if it comes out for one of you, then it will head out the door and head your way. Um, James, uh, there were a couple of unsold teams and honors. I don't even remember what they were. Honestly, there were so many unsold in Origins and so many unsold in Prime Signatures tonight. I just looked at it and thought, man, I don't even have time to try to resell those before the start of the break. You know, when it's only a handful, uh, which I don't know why... We've had more than normal uh, on unsold teams on a few of these things lately. But anyway, when it's just a, a couple, uh, I've been reselling them ahead of the break. But there were so many in there, I thought, you know what, that would take forever. So I just decided to skip them tonight. And of course, uh, many of you, maybe not all of you, but many of you have done breaks with me before. And you know when we're looking at free shipping, which our first three items are, our Origins, Honors, and Prime Signatures are all free shipping. Those things go out roughly, i got to change the camera focus, uh, those go out roughly once per week. So look for it to ship out about a week from today. Uh, maybe sooner if you have another package going in the interim. And again, that only applies, applies to breaks with free shipping, so we'll have a different shipping schedule for our Bowman Chrome Baseball because that's a paid shipping break. First out is Odell Beckham Jr. for the Giants. Next up, Sheldon Richardson for the Jets. Here comes a little Zeke. That is, what is that number to? 299 on the Ezekiel Elliott for the Cowboys. Jordan Matthews for the Eagles, also to 299. Our first hit for my Pittsburgh Steelers. How about a little Josh Dobbs? Materials hit, nice big piece of material. Got a bunch of wrinkles in it. That is to 199. Trying to hold it at an angle where I don't know. The way the light hits it, maybe there you could kind of see for a second. But anyway, my fabric's got uh, quite a few little wrinkles in it. It's not in there as smoothly as they are sometimes. Joe Mixon for the Bengals. That is numbered to 99. And then our third hit out of this box, a little Cooper Cup for the Rams. We seem to pull him a lot in Origins. That one is not numbered, but you do have a nice uh, three-color piece of material, sticker auto, of course. So our hits are the Rams, the Bengals, and the Steelers out of that box of Origins. 
And for anybody that happened to jump in late, uh, Origins, Honors, Prime Signatures, all three of the breaks with free shipping, as in no charge to the bidder, those things go out once per week on average. So look for your cards from these breaks to go out in about a week, unless you have another package coming in the meantime, and then it'll hitch a ride and go a little earlier. Next up, one box of 2016 Panini Honors Football. This is break number seven, so the seventh time we have broken it. And same format as before. Of course, it also ended tonight, and our live stream is tonight. Our teams are on the left, winning bidders across from it on the right. All the no-bids buyback stuff, if anything comes out for one of those, will stay here with me. Otherwise, heads out the door to you. Oh, the Cooper Cup was yours? Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, and uh, guys, I do. while I'm thinking about it, we do have a few uh, sets of teams that are unpaid uh, as of the start of the break, but if you guys could go ahead and get the payment in on that, I would appreciate it. I noticed we had a handful of them, but I know sometimes, you know, things come up. We're watching the football game and, or working or whatever might be going on. You don't always get it in right on time and happens to the best of us. So we have a base card in here, and then we will have uh, two other encased cards. That's the way honors rolls, so to speak. And Jarvis Landry is our base card, numbered to 99 for the Dolphins. Our first encased card is, who is this? Todd Christensen. And that is hand-numbered, you'll see, uh, to 36 down there, number 2 of 36. And this card was originally in 2001 playoff, looks like. Yeah, 2001 playoff is the actual original card series. Of course, you know, they've updated it and added the hand-numbering and that kind of thing. So Todd Christensen for the Raiders. Oh, 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 I'm officially jealous. I am really jealous. This is hand numbered one of three. You'll see up there in that upper left corner, you've got the nice two color piece of fabric. And most importantly, we got a little Big Ben signature going on there. So nice hit for the Steelers with the Ben Roethlisberger hand numbered to three, originally out of Donruss Elite uh, 2010, looks like. So Steelers with a hit, the Raiders with a hit, and our base card, the Dolphins, for honors tonight. That will then roll us into a little bit of 2011 Prime Signatures, and this is the back half of a case that we started a couple of nights ago, so uh, we don't have to worry about random telling us which boxes we're going to open, because... Uh, yeah, they're the only ones left out of that case. This is five boxes of 2011 Panini Prime Signatures, half case break number 44, so the 44th time we have opened it. Same scenario that you're used to seeing. I'll just scroll down through here, give everybody a chance to refresh your memory as to what team or teams you may have. And hopefully by now everybody heard the shipping announcement, but just because, you know, there's always somebody who, who, who jumps in and out and misses it because, you know, I mean, really, if it's not your break, you're probably not watching the other breaks. So, yes, shipping on Prime Signatures, also free to the bidder, means goes out once per week on average. Sooner if you have uh, another package going in the interim. If this is the only thing you have, if you hit something out of this and you don't have anything else coming in the meantime, look for this to ship out about a week from today. We might find some redemptions in here. We actually find them in 2011 Prime Signatures fairly often. If we do find them, they're going to show that they are expired. However, Panini will still honor expired redemptions. So what you do is enter it into your account, just like you would a non-expired redemption. And if they have the card, typically they will send it in, you know, six or eight weeks, sometimes sooner. 
And they do sometimes have stuff as far back as uh, 2010, 2011. If they don't have it and it's been sitting there and it's been more than a couple of months, you know, hit them up on, on Twitter or Facebook or something like that and just tell them you've got these redemptions sitting in there and can they help you out. And if you can get a live person, that's always the hardest part. If you can get a live person at Panini, they will uh, work with you on it. They'll replace it with... Uh, Sometimes the same player out of a different card series or from a different year. Sometimes it will be uh, a totally different player. They'll ask you who your favorite players are, who your favorite teams are, that kind of stuff. The main stipulation is they do it similarly valued. So, you know, if you tell them your favorite player is Ezekiel Elliott, but your card that you're due is worth only, you know, $5, they're not going to trade you Zeke for it. But otherwise, they try to be fair. Troy Aikman to $4.99 for the Cowboys. Chad Henney to $4.99 for the Dolphins. A little Matt Ryan to $99 for the Falcons. And for the Bears to $199, Dane Sansenbacher. I'm going to give that a shot and say Sansenbacher. That's Probably not right, but we all know I'm terrible with the name pronunciation. Darrell Rivas to $4.99 for the Jets. A little Phillip Rivers, $4.99 Chargers. Jermaine Gresham to $4.99 for the Bengals. And Christian Ponder for the Vikings to $1.99. That one is actually an on-card auto. That one, not a sticker. A little bit of ding down there, I notice, in the maybe and up here as well. Upper and lower corners have minor chipping, but very minor. Arian Foster to $4.99 for the Texans. Pierre Thomas, $4.99 Saints. Alex Karras to $99 for the Lions. Our hit out of that box is Armand Smith to $49 for the Browns. Alex Karras again to $4.99 Lions. How about a little mean Joe Green to $4.99 Pittsburgh Steelers. Randy Moss to $99 for the Vikes. A little Stevie Johnson for the Bills to $75. Oh, you know what I meant to tell you guys, uh, the ones of you who are here bidding on football. I don't know if you noticed this or not, or maybe I've, if I've even talked about it before. But I do have some of the first off the line Prism football, and it's due to arrive Monday night. So the break is scheduled to end Monday, and it will break Monday. That product does not release nationally until Wednesday. Um, so we're going to get it two days early. We're going to break it two days early, and it has additional content in it beyond what the normal national release has. It's first off the line Prism football. And you pay a you know a little bit more for it, but uh, obviously the benefits are quite obvious. Wow, look at that. Nice hit for the Lions. A little Matt Stafford, number two of five. That is a sweet, sweet hit for the Lions. And if you happen to want uh, that or any other card that you pull with me, if you want it in a one-touch, just uh, shoot me a message and let me know. I'm always happy to do that. It's just at my cost for the case and, uh, you know, the PayPal fees. It usually ends up being about $3 or so. And that is a really nice hit. Matt Stafford, numbered to five for the Lions. Stevie Johnson to 75 for the Bills. Armand Smith to 49 for the Browns. Christian Ponder, that one's on card auto, to $199 for the Vikings. And then Dane Sensenbacher for the Bears. So that is 2011 Prime Signatures wrapped up, at least this break of it. Of course, we break that pretty often, so there's already more breaks listed for it. That's going to bring us up to our full case of 2017 Bowman Chrome. And let me get the spreadsheet up for that. And this is 12 boxes, which is a full case of 2017 Bowman Chrome Baseball. This is uh, break number 10, so the 10th time we have uh, broken it. Not counting the HTA breaks. Those have uh, Bowman Chrome HTA have their own 
little break count going. And same format, uh, once again, anything that says no bids buyback, if anything comes out for what that team stays here with me, otherwise goes out the door to you. And of course there was a shipping charge on Bowman Chrome. So this goes out on a little different schedule. This, um, I expect this will probably go out to you Monday or Tuesday. And if I can get it out to you sooner than that, I will. But my expectation is that probably some of it will go Monday and the remaining, uh, whatever I don't, ah, whatever I can't get finished on Monday, then would finish up uh, on Tuesday. So that's kind of my anticipated shipping date. I do print the labels directly from eBay pretty much always, unless it's an international address. Sometimes those I will print somewhere else, but the majority of the time it's going to print uh, directly from eBay, which should then trigger a shipping notification to you when that happens. And it should also add the tracking number to the item detail directly on eBay. Every once in a while, something will go haywire and it doesn't do those things, but most of the time it does. All American, you are asking me what we have opened. We opened um, Origins, Honors, and 2011 Prime Signatures. And we are getting ready to start on 2017 Bowman Chrome. Of course, it takes a while to get all the Bowman Chrome out of its uh, boxes and ready to go. I'd say the majority of you have probably done Bowman Chrome breaks either with me or with someone else, but just in case someone hasn't, the format for this is each master box has two mini boxes in it. Then each of our mini boxes has one autograph card in it. We normally find a relic somewhere in here as well. There's typically one relic per case, usually Arizona Fall League. Occasionally, that will be substituted with a different type of autograph card. An inscription autograph card has uh, taken the place of a relic card once. Then, what else? Of course, we're going to have a number of parallels in here. We should have, anyway. We'll have some Arizona Fall League inserts. All of the uh, Arizona Fall League inserts will be refractors. That whole entire subset refracts. Ditto for Bowman Scouts Top 100. Then we'll have base refractors that don't have, you know, a parallel, a color parallel, but they still are refractors. Those will be numbered to 499. And then, of course, our numbered um, refractors can be all kinds of things, all the way down to one of one, which we did pull a one of one out of here the other night. was for the Yankees, I think, although I wouldn't swear to that. I think it was a Yankee. Of course, as you can see, I'm getting all of our mini boxes out of here first, out of the master boxes. Then I'll get about half of our mini boxes open and packs out of them. And then we'll start opening the packs and looking through them. But... I like to get a certain amount of the opening and packaging out of the way first. Because it takes a while. <laughs> this way, you know, you know you've got a little intermission and you can go take care of your errands or snacks or watching the game. I was actually watching the football game. Which... You know, it was all right. It was interesting, but it wasn't like terribly exciting. And I had to tune it off, turn it off. So I'd say it was a cross between tune out and turn it off. I had to turn it off anyway to start getting ready for the break. So I got 
close to half time of watching it. I guess are the Dodgers uh, Dodgers Cubs playing tonight? I think I guess they probably are. I didn't even remember to turn that on. I kind of you know, mentally, I just kind of gave that series to the Dodgers. And then, of course, the Cubs came back and won the one last night. So, I guess I was giving it away a little too early. All-American, did you have teams in Origins? You know that I probably am not going to be able to remember all the hits, but I can try if you tell me who you had in there. I think one of them was, uh, well, I know we had Cooper Cup because somebody after we pulled it said thanks for, thanks for the Cooper Cup or something close to that <laughs> in chat. So I know we had that one. I think uh, we had Josh Dobbs. can't remember who the third Origins hit was. Um, I don't remember who it was. I should, but I'm drawing a blank on it. All right, let's get, um, I like to do about half, two, four, five, so that's ten. All right, so we'll open up one more mini box, and then we'll start uh, getting our packs opened up. You know, we've had a few, I don't know, they're not really hot cases, I guess, but yet they kind of are. We've had a few cases recently of Bowman Chrome that have really been above and beyond maybe what you would expect. And then we've had other cases that have fallen more in line of what you would expect. So I don't have a feel for this one. Some nights, you know, I'll get a feeling like, oh, we're going to be hot. And tonight I don't really have a feel one way or the other if this is going to be a hot one or not. But I sure hope that it is. I would like to pull a Nick Senzel in particular. It's a redemption in here. But out of, this is the 10th uh, break, so this is the 10th case, I guess, that I've opened of this. And so far, out of 10 cases, I've only hit one Nick Senzel. And we've hit one... Um, Mickey, Moniac, we hit a couple of Beau Bichettes. I'm trying to think, uh, I don't know who all else. We've hit a lot of uh, Khalil Lee. We've hit a ton of him. And he's in here both live and as a redemption. American, I guess you must have jumped off, man. I guess I lost you. You must, you must be uh, into the game or something tonight. Well, I'm sorry you missed Origin. For baseball, um, of course, we've got minor league heritage, and I'm breaking the first half of that sometime in the next couple of days. I don't remember exactly what day, 
and then the back half of it I haven't scheduled yet so I'll get that scheduled pretty soon I have one more case uh, of regular Bowman Chrome and I believe that one should have gone live tonight and a couple more cases of HTA Bowman which is the jumbo Bowman and those are already at least one of those is already listed maybe not more than one but at least one is and I know we've got something else coming out what is it I can't think I've got impeccable football listed on eBay Phoenix football is already listed um, Shoot, what else is coming out this week? This upcoming week, I mean. Oh, Prism. Prism football. That's right. So I've got the early break of it with the first off the line, and then the regular Prism comes out on Wednesday, the upcoming. Oh, Tox Jumbo. That's the other thing. We opened the first one of those last night. Well, Tops Update Series Jumbos, to be specific. So we've got several more breaks of that to do. Probably some of them scheduled already, some of them maybe not yet. And I'm fairly sure that we have at least one or two new baseball releases that'll come, come out this upcoming Wednesday. Just got to think about what they are. I know this is the worst part guys getting everything out of here is the absolute uh, worst part that takes forever once we get through this though then smooth sailing for the first half of the case we'll stop and look at what we have and then of course we'll have to stop and do the same thing for the back half of the case well I'm trying to get my iPad is really not wanting to cooperate with me for some reason. I'm trying to get it to update, but it doesn't seem to want to at the moment. What is this thing doing? Huh, I don't know. Weird. This is, uh, hang on one second. I'm going to try to get this to, what is it doing? Huh. I don't know. iPad's like off on its own little um, adventure over there. <laughs> Does not seem to want to be following along with us tonight for whatever reason. If you happen to be watching and you're not logged into YouTube, I think you probably can't see or participate in the chat unless you're logged in. At least that's what I've been told in the past. So just, uh, I know sometimes people don't know that. So if you do want to chat, um, I think you have to be logged in. Of course, I don't check eBay messages or email messages or anything like that while we're doing the live break. I only see whatever is in chat. Because I think we do have a, a few new people with us tonight for this break. What I do is after we go through these uh, for... A period of time I will stack the base back there in the back right hand corner and that way if there's something you want to see again something uh, I missed or you just want to take another look at just jump into chat and let me know while it's still sitting back there in that back corner 
Then after that stack gets to be a certain height, I move it off to my right. I have a sorting mat. It's just like these break mats, except it's, well, got a different design on it, but uh, of course it is a mat designed to protect the cards. So I set them off to the right on that sorting mat after a period of time. And then once they're over there, it's, you know, you kind of lose track of if you want to go back and look at something. So if you want to, make sure you jump into chat and let me know. Now, of course, if we're talking about hits, uh, I do re uh, will recap the hits at the end of the break. So we would definitely look at all of our signature and relic cards again at the end of the break. I normally sort out our color as well, just in case someone wants to review it. All right, so let's uh, start seeing who we can find here. This is one of the Bowman Scouts Top 100 that I was uh, telling you guys about earlier. Those are all refractors, and we'll find lots of them as we go through. Our first hit is, where did I lay my sleeves? i got to get those out. Our first hit is for the Padres, little Manny Margot. And that should be numbered to $4.99, and it is $3.74 of $4.99. Here's a nice little Nick Senzel for the Cincinnati Reds. Uh, it is a 70th anniversary. You see that up there at the top. So the blue parallel with the 70th anniversary are not numbered. Little Bellinger base rookie. There's one of our Arizona Fall League cards. That's uh, another one I was referencing earlier that will refract the whole entire series does. We should also have a case hit in here, refractors that never were. That's uh, our older players that uh, were retired no longer in the game before refractors were popular. So we should have one of those in here. Jose Trevino for the Rangers in the orange parallel should have us numbered to 25, and it is number 17 of 25. So in all the cases that I have done up until the last case, we've had one of those refractors that never were in each case. And the last case we did, we actually had three of them for some reason. But I think the norm certainly has been one. Jacob Nottingham for the Brewers. That is numbered to 150. And the blue parallel. Heath Quinn for the Giants. That is unnumbered. I need to just... Tell you what, I'm going to get a little stack of these out so I don't have to fight with them so much. It's kind of hard to do the sleeves uh, sometimes uh, with the left hand, you know. Sometimes it just goes a little slower than I might like. Ryan O'Hearn in the green parallel to 99 for the Kansas City Royals. I'm trying to kind of hold that at an angle so you can see the numbering on the backs of those otherwise the light tends to hit it in a weird way that makes it hard to see the number i think a little bellinger arizona fall league Garrett Cole in the purple parallel for the Pirates. That is numbered to 250. Brian Reynolds for the Giants. That 70th anniversary will not be numbered.
Everybody's so quiet tonight. Normally, you guys are going back and forth and chat a little bit. Everybody's eerily quiet. Diamondback 70th anniversary blue parallel not numbered. Isaiah White for my Cincinnati Reds, not numbered. Banda for the Diamondbacks to 499. Miguel Cabrera to 99 for the Detroit Tigers. Ah, with a regular Cabrera right behind it. Runed to 4.99 for the Rangers. For the Mets, Thomas Nito to four ninety nine. Nido, 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 maybe I don't know. Could be either one, or it could be neither, and I'm just way off the mark. Blue Shimmer Max Freed to one fifty for the Braves. Aaron Judge, base rookie. Actually, we may as well stack Aaron's base down there with Cody's base, just in case. I started doing that uh, after someone, we had done a whole case break of something and I had a ton of base in it. It might have been Heritage. Andrew Kalka for the Indians to $4.99. So, yeah, we had done this whole case break, and it was a, a lot of cards, like a lot of cards. And at the end of it, someone wanted to know how many Bellinger base rookies they had hit. And I'm like, oh, no. So I had not, you know, set them out separately. So I had to go back through all of those cards at the end of the break uh, to count to let him know how many he had. And it took a very long time. So ever since then, I've kind of tended to set the Aaron Judges and the Cody Bellinger base rookies just off in their own little pile. Dugar for the Giants in the Purple Shimmer unnumbered. None of the Purple Shimmer is numbered. Our hit here is Brian... Mundell for the Rockies, unnumbered. Whoops, whoops, whoops. We've got somebody hanging out there. Let's get, that's the one we already saw. It's an Arizona Fall League for the Mariners. He was trying to stay hidden behind another card there. Oh, nice little Torres in the gold shimmer. That should be numbered to 50. And it is, I think that's his 42 of 50. That's a nice one for the Yankees. Surprisingly, have not pulled uh, a lot of Torres out of here. Sunny Gray for the A's in the blue Parallel, that one is not numbered. Brian Anderson for the Marlins to four ninety nine. 
Another Bellinger base rookie. For the Tigers, Adam Ravenel, unnumbered purple shimmer. Romel Tapia for the Rockies to 150. Ona for the Padres. That one is not numbered. Jesse Winker for my Cincinnati Reds to 499. Is that first in the series? No, it's 10. I saw the two zeros in the one. I somehow, my brain processed it as a 001, but it was 10 of 499. Really, I, don't, I mean, it doesn't matter if it's first or last in the series, but for some reason, like, I always think it's cooler to hit the first one or the last one. No logical reason at all for that. And that's just, yeah, a thing. Ryan McMahon to $4.99 for the Rockies. A little Alex Bregman base rookie went by, as well as an Alex Reyes. We pulled a nice Alex Reyes autograph baseball out of uh, Onyx National Edition the other night. Corey Hunter Jr. for the Angels in the Purple Parallel to 250. Benintendi Base. Guriel Base. And here is Thomas Nido Nido, however we're going to say his name is, for the Mets. That's the second one. That one unnumbered as well. First one might have been numbered, actually. But, of course, I do recap the hits at the end, so we'll get another look at them. Forrest Whitley to $4.99 for the Astros. Khalil Lee, blue parallel for the Royals to $150. A little Mitchell White for the Dodgers. That one is not numbered. I wonder if it's Bo if it's Bowman High Tech next week. I wish I'm trying to remember what the other baseball is that comes out next week, and for some reason I just can't conjure it out of my brain. That is to four ninety nine on the Hunter Renfro for the Padres. Another Torres went by. Fall League. Albert Abreu. Purple Shimmer unnumbered for the Yankees. Max Schrock for the A's. Not numbered. Another Bregman base rookie and another Reyes base rookie. Weren't those together in the last pack, like back-to-back -back like that? It seems like they were. Maybe they're not, but it seems like they were. I see a redemption floating in there, so maybe it will be the Nick Senzel that, I, that I'm trying to conjure up. We'll find out shortly. Might be Khalil Lee again, too, since we pull him a lot. <laughs> but before we get that far... We have got a blue parallel for the A's. 
Munoz to 150. Well, Clint Frazier. Our redemption. Oh, nice hit for the Dodgers. Nice. Willie Calhoun. And Prime Chrome Signature. I believe that is the one that has the inscription, if I'm remembering correctly. So it probably replaces our Relic case hit. And, of course, you know I will go to the checklist and verify that because I always do that with redemptions. But Willie Calhoun, I am 99% sure, is a Dodger. But we will verify it at the end. Herrera for the Phillies to four ninety nine. Now we've got kind of uh, <laughs> almost another intermission, if you will. So if you need to get snacks, uh, check the scores, walk the dog, do laundry, whatever you got going there, it's going to take uh, a few minutes to get all of these mini boxes opened and the packs out and then the cards out of the back. We're basically at the halfway point in the case right now with what we've already looked at. Always just like to show the inside of the box after the stuff comes out, just so you guys know that it's empty, that there's nothing else hanging out in there. And also to make sure everything comes out, you know. <laughs> so once I did that, and there was a pack still stuck in there. So I was like, ah, yeah. <laughs> I was kind of glad to, not glad that one got stuck, but yet, you know, it reinforced my decision to always look twice at the empty box, I guess is what I'm saying. This is just the worst part. I would like to invent a little um, mechanical device that could be working in the background, taking all everything out of the packs while we were looking at other stuff. Wouldn't that be awesome? <laughs> yeah, we would have no delayed gratification. We would just be whipping right through it, happy as could be. Shift that a little bit so I have space. If anybody is logged into chat and you feel like throwing out a score update, I wouldn't be sad about that. I've got to get that Elite Extra Edition listed again, too. I set that box there to remind me to do it, and then somehow I still haven't gotten it done. It's just some odds and ends boxes from uh, 2015 and 2016 Elite Extra Edition. But, you know, I mean, we have the possibility of pulling out some nice stuff. Reese Hoskins and Aaron Judge and... Ah, Joy, you gave me the score. Awesome, thank you. It is 11, oh, 11 to 1 Dodgers. Wow, Dodgers are thrashing the Cubs. Holy cow. They are making up for last night, aren't they? Well, you know, you guys know, many of you, maybe not all of you, but many of you know that I'm a Reds fan when it comes to baseball. So, you know, we're never in the postseason. <laughs> At least 
it seems like it's been a hundred years. Obviously, it has not been, but yeah. So when postseason time comes, uh, I'm I just like to see good matchups. So I've been kind of secretly hoping for Yankees Dodgers. Of course, the Yankees still have to get past the Astros too, but. I mean, Astros Dodgers would be good as well, but I like the the idea of kind of seeing Bellinger and Judge uh, head to head for the World Series. You know, I don't know. I think that'd be fun. But I did not really. I mean, okay, I did not think that the Cubs were going to come back and win the series. They've only won the one game. But I really thought they'd be, I'm surprised that the score is 11 to 1, you know, because the Cubs got a little taste of hope last night, so I would have thought they would have come back and, of course, I guess the opposite of that is also true. The Dodgers got a little bit of a scare as well, I guess, thinking, oh yeah, whoops, maybe we let up off the gas a little too soon, so... Could go either way in that sense. The motivation, I mean, could go either way. Obviously not the score. Score tells us so. I think it's going to be the Dodgers. I've got some... Uh, a box of Hit Parade Platinum baseball setting here, too. That's actually been sitting here several months, and I keep forgetting to list it because it looks like a box of uh, 2010 Plates and Patches football. So every time I glance at it, I think it's 2010 Plates and Patches. But I'm going to get that listed pretty soon. And it's, um, of course, you never know what we're going to pull out of it. But the checklist on it is awesome, and it's a defined checklist, so you're guaranteed to get a signature from one of, you know, that particular group of people, which is not always the case when you get into Hit Parade and Gold Rush and stuff like that. And it's a pretty impressive list, too. Well, you're right on both counts, Joy. The Cubs really... Uh, Yes, I'm sure they are tired. They did not have a a great first half of the season, but they certainly have had a nice, really nice back half of the season. But, yeah, I could see how that would be kind of wearing them out. And you're also right in that the Dodgers are really, really good this year, for sure. I mean, really, no matter who else ends up on the other side, I kind of expect that the Dodgers are going to win the World Series. That's... I think that's kind of what all of us have been thinking all year long, you know. I think it would take something for something unusual to happen out of the ordinary to the Dodgers and or something extraordinary to happen for the other team uh, for the Dodgers to not win the World Series because they're just really good this year. Hey, we are still going to get our relic. I thought that uh, that the Prime Chrome signature might replace it because I think that is the signature that has the inscription. But I just opened a pack that had the relic in it, so we are going to hit it. Yeah, the Astros offense, you know, it's interesting. The Astros offense has has absolutely been phenomenal all season. But here in this little stretch against the Yankees has just suddenly kind of dried up on them. It's been, it's been interesting um, because that's kind of what they've really been known for. At least, maybe that's not what they've been known for, but that's certainly what I have considered to be their strong suit all season is their offense. And their pitching, I mean, you know what? They, they've, 
They shored up their pitching rotation. I certainly think it's in a whole lot better shape than it was. You know, you add uh, you add Verlander in there, and that's a big get. I'm just. I think they've had a long year. I mean, everybody's had a long year, right? By the time we get to October, they're all tired. But I think, obviously, the Astros are young. Uh, the Yankees, young. The Dodgers, uh, relatively young. So I think those are going to continue to be good teams in the years ahead as well, no matter how this year shakes out. Hey, Dave, we are too far into this break, my friend. There was uh, one team in here that wasn't spoken for, but we are on the back half of this case now. So, so yeah, I'm sorry. There's nothing, nothing left up for grabs at this point, which usually, you know, Chrome generally um, doesn't have teams left every once in a while something doesn't sell like tonight with the tigers but but most of the time chrome sells through but you know i order a lot of chrome too because i love it you guys know this about me <laughs> i love bowman chrome i like all the bowman period i enjoy the prospecting part of it getting them now while they're affordable and young and Sometimes unknown, sometimes not unknown. The buy and hold philosophy. Yeah, this, um, out, we were fast tonight, Dave. I mean, our, our football breaks tonight were all pretty quick. Uh, low number of cards type scenarios. So that's why, you know, we got hustling into, into Bowman Chrome maybe earlier than we do some nights. Little Manny Margot to $4.99 for the Padres. Bellinger base rookie. But I think the World Series is going to be fun this year, no matter what. I, it's going to be fun to watch anyway. DJ Peters to 250 for the Dodgers. Because, you know, some of the years, I mean, okay, the World Series is the World Series, so it's always interesting. But, so, whoops, some of the years, um, I don't think the matchups are as entertaining. Is that the right word that I'm trying to use there? They're not as, yeah, for me anyway, not as entertaining as other years. This year, I think uh, we're going to have a fun one to watch. Let's go with Erez. Erez or, no, that's probably not right. Erez, well, okay, that's what I'm calling him. To $4.99 for the Twins. Erez, no, that's too many. Uh, er, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I struggle with that. Purple Shimmer will be unnumbered for the Giants, Heath Quinn. That is a short print, I am pretty sure. That does not look like our typical uh, doll rookie. So I believe that that is a short print. We normally find one per case, and it is normally a rookie, and I believe that is it for this case. Of course, we have not yet seen our refractors that never were, so that's still floating around in here somewhere. Here is Andrew, again, whose name, oh, yeah, Calica, that's what I'm going with, for the Indians to 250. I believe we pulled him earlier as well, if I'm remembering right. We pulled him in something. I think it was in an autograph hit. Another judge base rookie.
for the Cubbies. Blue Shimmer. Jose Albertos to 150. Tejeda for the Rangers, unnumbered. Um, oh boy, I don't know. Neck 45, or I'm sure I'm, that's not neck because it's got an H there. Well, I'm just going to call you 45. <laughs> Um, gosh, I do not know, other than that Ranger that we just hit, I don't know if we've hit any others. I will recap it, though, um, at the end of the break, but I don't know for sure if we've hit other uh, signatures or not. That's to $4.99 for the Cardinals. And part of it is because, you know, I'll remember calling a team, but I won't always remember if it was a color parallel or if it was a signature or whatnot. I tend to retain that only for a split second and then shoots right back out. Jordan Montgomery to 250 for the Yankees. It was Tanaka that went by, wasn't it? He's been pitching really well lately. A little Zach Grinky to four ninety nine for the Diamondbacks. Vanda for the Diamondbacks. Purple Shimmer unnumbered. Oh, there's a nice little Victor Robles for. The Nationals in the purple parallel to 250. Banda again for the Diamondbacks to 250. Well, we're getting close. We've got four four stacks left. So if we have not hit what you're looking for yet, now's the try, time to try to conjure it up. Throw it out there in the universe and see if we can conjure it for you. Ian Happ, Arizona Fall League. Amir Garrett for the Reds to 250. Ah, nice red parallel. First red parallel we've pulled live. We had a redemption for a red signature parallel, but this is the first red parallel pulled live. Jose Quintana, one of five for the Red Sox. Nice, nice little hit there for the Sox. We're about to come upon our relic. And it is for the Rays. And you know I'm not going to get that name right. We're just going to go with Hugh, which may or may not be correct. That is to 150. Of course, you got the relic. Nice on card auto. And did I empty out my pack of sleeves? No, there's another one in there. Ah, it's so hard to get these open with the left hand sometimes. So nice hit for the Rays. I'll set that uh, next to our other hits. Carlos Correa to $4.99 for the Astros. Get another pack of sleeves. All right. Purple Parallel Jose Abreu to 250 for the White Sox. Ooh, 
Reggie Lawson Padres Green Parallel to 99 Green Shimmer to be exact. I don't think I said Shimmer originally. Javier for the Twins, unnumbered. Seems like there's a couple of hits for the Twins, doesn't it? Maybe I don't know if there is or, once again, if I'm just thinking of some of the parallels that I've called out. But it seems like we've hit a few things for the Twins. For the, <clears throat> excuse me, for the Astros, Purple Shimmer Garrett Stubbs. Not numbered. For the Phillies, Alberto Torado. Purple Shimmer, Bryson, Brigman, Mariners, not numbered. For the Twins again, the guy whose name I don't ever say right, Arez, unnumbered. Well, can't even get the sleeve open, much less guard in it. Because you kind of have to have it open to get the guard to go in, right? <laughs> I'm telling you guys, it's like the little sacks at the grocery, you know, that they put out for produce and you kind of have to, you know, to get them open. Sometimes I feel like I should do that with the sleeves. Cole Stubby for the Phillies. Of course, it's really probably just that I'm doing it left-handed. Anthony K to four ninety nine for the Mets. Austin Riley for the Braves to ninety nine in the green parallel. Two stacks left. Tory Hunter Jr. for the Angels, unnumbered. We hit him earlier, but again, I can't remember if it was signature or otherwise. But we'll find out momentarily. Jameson Fisher, Redemption, which I believe is going to be a White Sock. But again, we will, excuse me, we will checklist verify that along with the Willie Calhoun, who I believe is a Dodger. Ryan O'Hearn, Blue Shimmer, Kansas City Royals to 150. Jazz Chisholm. For the Diamondbacks, unnumbered. Braden Bishop, Mariners to four ninety nine. Last stack. Ryan Shemp. Gold parallel for the Padres to 50. That one I think says 43 of 50 to be exact. Diaz, Dodgers to 499. 
Mateo for the Yankees gold parallel to 50. I think that also said 43 of 50, didn't it? A couple back-to-back -back 43 of 50s. Villar for the Brewers to four ninety nine. Albert Abreu for the Yankees, unnumbered. Braden Bishop for the Mariners shouldn't should be unnumbered and is unnumbered. I think this is like the third one of this guy, isn't it, that we've hit? Tomas Nido Nido to two hundred and fifty for the Mets. Another Aaron Judge base rookie. All right, so we've got a couple things to do here, uh, one of which I definitely want to get done before we do the review, and that is the Willie Calhoun and the Jameson Fisher Redemptions. Again, I believe that is going to be uh, Dodgers and White Sox, but we are going to pull it up just to make certain as soon as I can get the tops checklist page to load for me. All right, one of those... Prime Chrome. It takes a little while to scroll down through here, so bear with me. We got to get to the right uh, spot. All right, there is Jameson Fisher, and he is indeed a white sock. Now we just need to get down here to Mr. Willie Calhoun, and he is indeed a Dodger, as we thought. So Jamison Fisher, uh, white socks. Put that so I can write on it. I used to just write them directly on the card. And uh, some people did not. I think I've got that in the too wide of a sleeve. Some people didn't like that for whatever reason. So now I write them on the sleeve. But I do like to write them on there. Because sometimes, you know, people watch uh, with sound down or whatever the case may be. And this way... They know what's going on if they're watching with the sound down. So let's recap. We have our Willie Calhoun Prime Chrome Signature, which I believe will be an inscription, if I'm thinking correctly. Could be wrong, but I think that's what it is. For the Dodgers, Jamison Fisher for the White Sox. We had a nice little uh, Jose Quintana for the White Sox, numbered to five, one of five. Our Relic was uh, for Hugh for the Rays, Re Relic and Signature, of course. It's to 150. I guess our refractors that never were, that's what we didn't hit in this case. So where I thought that the Prime Chrome Signature would replace the Relic, in fact, it must have replaced our um, refractors that never were in this case instead. We also had the short print, the David Dahl short print for the Rockies. And then our signature review here for the Mets to 250. Mariners unnumbered. Yankees unnumbered. Diamondbacks unnumbered. Angels not numbered. Phillies not numbered. Twins not numbered. Phillies again. Twins again, both of those also unnumbered. Rangers, not numbered. Indians, that one is numbered to 150. Did that say 150? 250, sorry, numbered to 250. I saw the purple and I'm like, mm, I think I read that wrong. To 499 for the Twins. Unnumbered for the A's. Unnumbered Dodgers. Unnumbered Mets. Unnumbered Padres, unnumbered Rockies, to 
to four ninety nine for the Indians to four ninety nine for the Mets unnumbered for the Reds unnumbered Giants for the Rangers to twenty five for the Padres to four ninety nine. And that is all of the primary hits. Of course, we had a lot of other color, um, but that is the, those are the primary hits. I can actually, you know what, you want to take a look at our, let's look at our gold color. I think at least, uh, those are at least a 50. We won't worry about our others with the higher numbers, but our gold color, we had the uh, Torres gold shimmer to 50 for the Yankees. We had the Mateo to 50 for the Yankees. And then for the Padres, the Shemp to 50. And then, of course, all kinds of blue and, and purple and green. And so, guys, that is all for me tonight. If you happen to miss uh, the early part of this when I talked about shipping, I am expecting this stuff to ship uh, most likely on Tuesday. It's possible some of it could go a little earlier. It's possible some of it could go a day later. But more or less, I'm expecting Tuesday. And um, on the on the baseball cards, the other items, the football with the free shipping, that stuff goes once a week. So that is it for tonight. Uh, lots of other baseball listed, and I get pretty much every uh, baseball, football, and basketball release as it comes out. So if you break other sports, I hope you'll join me for some of those as well. If you only break baseball, I'll keep you plenty busy with that too. So as always, thanks guys. I appreciate your bids. I appreciate you chatting with me, keeping me company, and all that other stuff. Have a great night, a good start to your weekend tomorrow, and I will see you the next time. Bye.